Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm going to begin this video with a prediction. I am going to predict that this video is one of the poorest performing videos out of all of the videos I've done. And if anything, that is going to highlight my point perfectly well. This video is going to be about suicide. And for that reason, I fully expect it not to perform as well as videos on other topics. We as a society do not like to talk about suicide. We try and brush it under the carpet, pretend it's not there. It's difficult and hard to talk about. So yeah, let's not have that conversation. As I'm sure you know, suicide rates in the UK are incredibly high. And I do think that part of the reason for that is that we don't talk about suicide. It's not normalized. So therefore, for those people who are really struggling with suicidal thinking, they don't feel like they can speak out. They are fearful that they're gonna be judged or they have concerns that they're not gonna be taken seriously. So therefore, by avoiding the topic entirely, we're worsening the situation. But if we're able to engage in more regular conversations about suicide, these people are gonna feel a lot more comfortable about how they feel. They're gonna feel like they can actually reach out and speak about the issues that they're having. And that is going to be hugely helpful in addressing any issues that they have. So if you've clicked on the video, you've engaged with it, and you've made it this far, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. If you're unaware, I struggled with suicidal thinking for a number of years, and I'm gonna base this video on my own experiences and reflect on the methods that I personally found to be very helpful. At this point, I just want to point out that just because I found these methods to be helpful for me, doesn't mean they're gonna have the same impact on you. What works for some people might not work for others. The other thing is that this is not going to be an extensive list. There are gonna be other tools and methods that you may wish to try out. These, as I say, are just methods that I personally found value in. Right, we're gonna get through these fairly quickly. We're gonna start off firstly with mindset. There was one particular thing I tried to keep in mind on the days where suicidal thoughts felt like they were taking over, and that was simply taking it one day at a time. Often I would ruminate too much on the past, or I would get anxious about the future, and these things would contribute to feelings of overwhelm and thoughts of suicide. In these instances, just focusing on the day itself, the day at hand, and doing all I possibly could to get to the end of the day was hugely valuable. It helped to shift the focus away from the past, away from the future, and just focus on the present. And although that didn't stop the suicidal thinking, it did help to shift the focus and ultimately get me through tougher periods. The next method was being aware of my triggers. Sometimes suicidal thoughts and darker periods would be triggered by certain circumstances or certain events. And taking some time to reflect on these difficult periods allowed me to recognize actually there's a pattern here. As a result of this reflection, it was easier to pinpoint certain triggers which would allow me to take steps to avoid them going forward. One thing I highly recommend is a Wellbeing Recovery Action Plan or RAP. This is a really useful tool that can help you highlight certain triggers in your life and build out a plan to help you deal with them next time they surface. The next method was people, being around other people and avoiding isolation. When I say this, I don't necessarily mean having a intense social interaction, like going for a coffee with a friend or going to that party. Sometimes you're not gonna feel up for that and that's totally understandable. I personally found benefit in being around other people generally, not even people that I knew. So for example, sometimes I would just go down to the cafe and sit there or I would go for a walk around the meadows where I would see a lot of people. And that in itself would have a positive impact on how I was feeling. Distraction can also be very helpful. When I was really struggling, often I would just go and lie in bed. I wouldn't do anything, but I would just lie there. And on reflection, that was probably not the best because it would just allow thoughts to continually race and probably increase. But by engaging in other activities, I could occupy my mind and distract myself from those suicidal thoughts. So some activities I like to do include listening to music, playing my guitar, doing some exercise, going out somewhere, playing video games, and even art. And I say even because I cannot draw 
for sure. As a personal trainer and someone who loves fitness, of course I was going to include exercise. I'm not going to spend much time on this at all because I'm sure you've heard me go on about the benefits of exercise on your mental health many times before. But yes, exercise can lead to the release of feel-good hormones known as endorphins which have a positive impact on our mental well-being. And the last coping method is having support around you. Finding someone who I could talk to when I was feeling really low was invaluable. Not only did it break my illusion of being isolated, it also gave me an outlet to talk about difficult thoughts and feelings. I also had support through the NHS. I would be reviewed by a GP very regularly and was also referred to the mental health action team. I also went to counselling for a period of time and used suicide helplines, both of which I would highly recommend for those who are really struggling. If you've made it to this point, you get a gold star. Well done. But you could do more. You could do more. You could share this video on social media so more people see it. And that way, you're gonna, this video is gonna reach the people that really need it. Before I finish up, hit that like button. If you've got any questions or comments, do make sure you contribute. And lastly, as always, subscribe for more. Thanks all, see you soon.